What is up, dudes? It is your friendly neighborhood dry bones back here with Geek Tech with my good buddy Draco. We're going to be doing a little review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 trailer number two that's supposed to debut here in 2016. We're going to give it a little critique and see what we think about it. All right, this <laughs> sounds like a good idea. All right, man. Let's give it a go. Oh, here you go. I like the Ninja Turtles. It's a lot of green screen. Oh, hey, man. Oh, Halloween parade, bro. Like the one night of the year Evil we fit in. That's actually just Halloween. Okay. Get back. What part of moving the shadows don't you understand? <laughs> okay. So that's very turtle -y. Whoa. I've never seen anything like this before. Uh, Guys, I got a lead on what's going on. Are those fucking aliens? Yeah, I think that was aliens. Oh. I think you like, uh, This world was built or not. Yeah, she's still sexy. <laughs> it's a, is that Tyler Perry? <laughs> you're a rhinoceros, and you're a. Huh. I'm a little piggy. <laughs> I'm a little piggy. Whoa, whoa. Hey, fellas! Casey Jones. Casey Jones. What's your name? Casey Jones. Hey. Are you two guys like a thing? If the purple ooze can turn humans into animals, it could turn us into humans. And we don't have to be stuck down here forever. There's a chance that it'd make us humans. We're turtles. Whether you like it or you not. Is that Rick Steady and Gear up, guys. What's their names? I don't know. No! The fucking Save Rhino and Piggy. Oh, um. This isn't working! I'm pretty we sure it's Rock Steady and Kind of dope that they have their human the and their mutant. And you warfare. shall always succeed. Here we go! Cowabunga! Wow. Let's Tim fight him up. Him. Go, go, go! Go! Sleep! I don't know if this is such a good plan. Don't be getting soft on me now. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> Is he coming in kind of fast? funny as hell oh dude i actually love that shit and yeah they are rocksteady and bebop from the 87 animated series and or comic book whatever is your favorite flavor but holy shit Raphael runs face first into a plane tongue out <laughs> and all that shit um <laughs> that is awesome i uh i really don't know how to react to that but i'm i'm enjoying it but, so, a Ninja Turtles movie where they're being invaded by aliens? Uh, or... Something. Something? <laughs> I'm confused. It's... Is it the dimensional rift? What's going down? There, there really wasn't enough information in there to really, uh, to really give any of that away. Let's... Let's slide through the movie, tra the trailer, and see if we can get a still... Uh, my favorite part of this is... There appears to be a rift. Okay, so it's like... Giant... Looks like a giant spaceship in the sky. Yeah, dude. Uh, so... Yeah. I mean... Yeah. And then you have... And then you've got really bad hair Megan Fox. And then... Really, to really, really slutty Megan Fox in record uh, time. Sexy Megan Fox. Sexy Whatever. She, we have different tastes. Un <laughs> unfortunately, as bad as as most of the movies were, she will still always be the hot chick from Transformers. I'm a little piggy. All right. Dude. I'm a little piggy. I'm a little piggy. 
I um, I'm I'm stoked for this. I've I got love a... you, piggy. I love you, too, piggy. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta throw some gur in there, man. <laughs> oh shit! But yeah, I'm I'm excited, man. This should be really interesting. Um, it looks like they're all right. The first Ninja Turtles movie that they that they made wasn't as awful as I was expecting it to be. <laughs> No, it really wasn't. It definitely wasn't the first movies, because the, it, the first two movies were really good. The third one, not so much. What third one? The, uh, the one where they... Have what to... third one? Oh, you ignore the third one, huh? <laughs> I, I I ignore your reality and substitute my own, thank so you. Let's see. <laughs> so, Casey Jones. Casey Jones. Uh, A.K.A. Green Arrow. Hey, man. He's going to make a good Casey Jones. He will. Because he's just got that arrogant shithead attitude and it's going to work. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, he'll, he'll definitely be able to pull this off. Casey absolutely. Jones is always one of my favorite characters from, uh, from the series. Yeah, absolutely. I also, f- I really dig Splinter and you don't get a good Splinter, but why are we getting Tony Shalhoub as Splinter again? He did a really good job, though. But he's Tony Shalhoub, man. He's like, how can you have Monk Splinter? Is he obsessed with neatness? I want to know. He pulls it off. Do do I have to bring back in the trail, uh, the section of the movie from the first one? No, I'm good. I had enough of him the first time. You didn't like him? I didn't care for him as Splinter. It's just, it's too weird for me. But following the backstory of this universe and this, it works. But real Splinter came from Japan, you know, was the pet, uh, was the pet of uh, Shidoshi, or was it Shidoshi? I believe so. And Oroku Saki was his, like, nemesis, or also known as Splinter. But, I mean, it's just weird to me. But I guess it works, considering he's supposed to be American. But I want to know how they learned ninjutsu perfectly from a book they found in a storm drain. This is where you have a problem? I have a lot of problems, man. I had a lot of problems with the first movie. They're between 5 foot and 7 foot tall, walking, talking teenage turtles. And you have a problem with them learning kung fu from a book? Or ninjutsu from a book? Yeah, kind of. Raphael just became a bug on a windshield of an airplane. Hey, hey that was a great meme. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it, it will make a great meme, but it's still the point. Here's where you have the problem. Yeah. I think that when he is in the first movie, when he's tempting um, Michelangelo yeah. with the pizza. Spoilers, by the way. Yeah, spoilers, by the way, if you haven't <laughs> seen the first movie. But when he's tempting him with the pizza... The voice went perfectly. Yeah, that's true. All right, I believe that they picked the picked a very good voice for the quirky father figure in charge kind of guy. Yeah, but he needs to make more silly jokes. We need more stupid Splinter jokes. Yes, we definitely need more stupid Splinter jokes. I agree. Also, um. I actually love the 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 best part of the first movie is the most turtley part of the first movie to me, like Ninja Turtles style, like the the elevator scene. Yes, the elevator scene was an amazing scene. <laughs> and they need to make the turtles a little more goofy. I, I hope they and that they seem so far in this trailer they they seem to have delivered the goofiness. Uh, I appreciate that. Yeah. Um. I'm excited, man. Just plain and simple. I want to see this. I want to see how Tony Shalhoub does. I want to see Rocksteady and Bebop in their crazy ass. Like, you already see him smashing through cars, t- chasing down Casey. Yeah. Well, uh, do, we have a, do we have a release date for the movie yet? Uh, release date? Actually, it's, I believe June 3rd. June 3rd, so it's coming up. So we, yep. so we will definitely be going to see this movie and giving a, a review afterwards. Um, we will we will put a disclaimer in if it's a spoiler cast. Oh, it's probably going to have spoilers. Um, 
but it looks extremely funny, and I don't yeah. think there's been enough funny movies this year. Uh, yeah, I agree. There's been a lot and, of seriousness, but not it, a lot of funny. If you it, don't count Deadpool, yeah. If you, well, you can't count Deadpool. He's in his own class. Yeah. The the funniest part of this is like very rarely will a trailer make me giggle, and this got me twice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really impressed. Yeah. Oh shit! I just realized at about what do we got? At about one minute and thirteen seconds in the trailer, by the way. Human hand. Human green turtle man hand. Yes, uh, he, he had talked about um, if the green goo can turn them into mutants, it could yeah, turn us human. It could turn mut- mutants into humans, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. The, the purple goo, excuse me. Also, you kind of have to love that they're using the Beastie Boys as the background music for this. Yeah. I mean, I still want to hear the, the Ice Cube song. Or Vanilla Ice song, excuse me. Oh, no, yeah. The Ninja Turtles rap. Yeah. But, I mean, that's my time period, man. That's what I grew yeah, up with. Yeah, likewise. The turtle rap was pretty r- ridiculous. I actually didn't mind the one that they did. Was it Ka- Wiz Khalifa did the one for the last movie? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. It's not, it, it's not Vanilla Ice. No, it's, it's definitely not Vanilla Ice. And I... But, I mean, Vanilla Ice was in the movie. Yeah. I mean, come on now. Yeah. And, I mean, so, I mean, it was it was cool. So. I'm excited. Yeah. Definitely excited. Um, uh, I had to shit out a little bit of it because still, I'm not a huge fan of the Splinter. But, hey, man. Yeah, I mean, the, the Splinter's... The Splinter's based on opinion. I I did like the old Splinter from the old live action movies more than I liked like the new Splinter, in complete honesty. But this Splinter is more in your face badass than the other Splinter. That's true. Which I do appreciate because there was always that question from the old movies of all right, other than the fact that they respect him, why why does he have as much control as he does? Because I mean, the most extensive that you see is he shoots an arrow in one of the movies, I think. In the old movies? Yeah, he shoots. He shoots an arrow. Yeah, and that's about as extent as extensive as it gets. I think there might be a little bit more, but none of it's very memorable to me at the moment. Yeah, uh, all I remember is he does shoot an arrow at a rope. Yeah, saves saves him from being dropped on spikes in a junkyard. I think. Yeah, well, becoming like. Shishka Turtle. Really getting to know, you know, but what I mean, it's like to be impaled in the anus hole. Yeah. I mean, and this this has its has its reasons behind it of of this is why he is he is Splinter. He is badass. Yeah, he learned ninjutsu from a book. Yeah. Mastered all the weapons, which I still don't get. It. <laughs> Meh. It is what it is. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I think it's going to be good. So, guys, if, if you like the video, uh, hit the like button for us. Uh, it helps us out. helps the channel out. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Leave a comment down down in the, in the comments, obviously. Where else would you leave them? Um, and we're going to be uh, doing something special here soon uh, with the comments. So, we want to see more. Yeah. I've been Bones. That's been the Draco. We'll catch you next time. See you later, guys. Bye.